Hello boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed a week of fairy tales and this week we are going to read poems. So we'll focus on poetry as our genre. Um, and you know guys, poems are all around us in songs, greeting cards, poetry books. Uh, poems usually tell stories and express feelings in creative ways. All through musical and rhythmical language, they can be short or long, funny or serious, sad or joyful. Some poems rhyme and others don't. Some have an obvious structure while others do not. But every poem is a work of art made entirely of words. And today I'm going to, we're going to start with one of my favorite poems that I have in my classroom. Um, the title for it is I Raised My Hand in Class by Ken Nesbitt. So hopefully you'll be able to see it as I read. I raised my hand in class this morning, sitting in the back. The teacher didn't see, I think. Instead, she called on Jack. I stretched my hand up higher, but she called on Zach and Zoe. I started bouncing up and down, but still, she called on Chloe. I waved my arms, but even so, she didn't call on me. She called on Brian, Brooklyn, Billy, Bailey, Ben, and Bree. She called on Taylor, Tristan, Thomas, Trinity, and Ty. Then, finally, she called my name. I breathed a heavy sigh. She asked me for the answer. I just frowned and clenched my knees and said, I've no idea, but could I use the bathroom, please? So we have an unexpected ending um, here because throughout the whole poem, I thought this student knows the answer, right? And it's, it's a student because it's happening in class in the morning. Um, students are raising their hand. Um, I guess they're trying to answer a question that the teacher asked, right? Um, and so this student, the boy or girl, we don't know. So I'm just call, going to call um, a student he. He raised his hand in the first stanza, but the teacher didn't see him, right? Uh, the teacher called on Jack according to our first stanza. In the second stanza, the student stretched his hand up higher, but the teacher called on Zach and Zoe, and then she called on Chloe. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, the student knows the answer. The teacher should call on him. Uh, and then I move on to stanza three. Uh, the student waved his arms, um, but teacher did not call on him again. Uh, in stanza four, teacher calls on more students, and then finally she called um, the student name, the one who is raising his hand. And then she asked him for the answer, but he didn't know the answer. All he wanted to do is he wanted to go to the bathroom, right? So there is a funny, silly moment in here. So the poem is really silly. I hope you enjoyed it. But uh, pay attention to your poems that you guys reading this week, hopefully. Uh, pay attention to each stanza, what's happening in each stanza in order to understand the whole, the whole poem, the whole story. And I have another poem for you uh, with the guest reader. So enjoy it. <laughs> 